Hello and welcome. Are you noticing some issues with your World Dryer Vera to Dry hand dryer? No worries. We'll go through some troubleshooting steps to get your dryer functioning properly again. Remember, disconnect the power before performing service. All Vera to Dry hand dryer service must be performed by a qualified service technician or a licensed electrician. Failure to disconnect the power source before servicing can result in serious injury or death from electric shock. Always disconnect the power source before servicing the dryer. Here are some common problems that may signal a need for maintenance. The dryer fails to start. The dryer is too loud. First, let's gather the tools you'll need to complete your maintenance. So your dryer will not start. Let's begin by confirming the dryer's power supply. First, check the circuit breaker. If the circuit breaker is off, turn the circuit breaker back on and check for dryer operation. If the dryer starts, your problem is solved. Servicing the dryer will involve removing the dryer's cover using the cover security hex wrench. Turn the cover screws clockwise to loosen. Remove the cover. Next, let's check for a locked out sensor. Check if LED number 4 is flashing on the main PCB or printed circuit board. If LED number 4 is flashing on and off, check the sensor lens for obstruction or foreign materials. The anti-vandal sensor locks out operation if hands or foreign objects are detected in the sensing area for longer than normal drying times. The sensor will remain locked out as long as the objects are detected. Removing hands or foreign objects from the sensing area will return the dryer to normal operation. Check for and remove any object or reflective surface closer than 18 inches below the dryer. Next, try cleaning the sensor lens with a soft, damp cloth and a mild cleaning agent that's safe for plastics. If the dryer starts back up, then you've diagnosed that the sensor was locked out. If the dryer still will not start, it could be a defective PCB. If no LEDs are lit on the main PCB, press the speed control push button on the main PCB. If LED number 3 does not activate after the button is pressed, replace the main PCB. If some of the diagnostic LEDs on the PCB are visibly active and the dryer does not operate, the cause could be a defective sensor. If the power supply and the main PCB are confirmed active, an LED number 4 does not light when hands are placed under the dryer, replace the sensor. If the sensor is not the problem, the motor brushes could be at the end of their service life. Inspect and replace if necessary. If all other possible causes have been checked and your dryer is connected to a 208 to 277 volt power supply, try replacing the heating element. This only applies to dryers connected to 208 to 277 volt power supply. If you notice the dryer is too loud, complete the following steps to adjust the dryer's speed. Locate the speed control switch on the printed circuit board inside the dryer. Speed adjustment is performed with the dryer connected to live voltage. When making this adjustment, be careful to only touch the speed control push button switch on the printed circuit board. Before pressing the speed selector switch, make sure the dryer's motor is not running. Press and release the switch to change the dryer's speed and consequently the sound level. The switch will cycle the dryer's speed from high to medium, medium to low, low to high. When medium or low speed is selected, LED number 3 on the PCB will be lit. Reinstall the dryer cover using the security hex key. Turn the cover mounting screws counterclockwise to tighten just until they're snug. Do not over tighten the screws. Thanks for watching this troubleshooting video for the World Dryer Vera to Dry hand dryer. We hope you found this information useful. If you need additional support, please reach out to the World Dryer customer care team. For other installation and troubleshooting videos, visit the Zern channel on YouTube. Thank you.